open eyes that we may see to follow the everyone, my name is Sharice Johnson Moore, your hope builder, lifting you out of your sorrow by guiding you to see the Christ within through scripture and practical applications. And it is time, it is time, it is time. It's time for our daily devotion for today. We are going to be talking about Joshua 15, 1 through 63. That's right, I say it. Joshua 15, 1 through 63. Ooh, child. That's a lot. That's a that's a lot to take in, right? So I want you to get your Bibles, get your tablets, get your cell phones, and let's deep dive into the word of God this morning to learn what he has for us today. Alright? Come on now, let's do this. All 
right now, everybody. I hope you have your Bibles, tablets, cell phones, however you may be reading the Word. And you can follow along with me when I read. Our topics for this morning are Caleb inherits Hebron, the land of Judah, and the cities of Judah. Joshua 15, 1-63 reads, This then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families, even to the border of Edom, the wilderness of Zin. Southward was the uttermost part of the south coast, and their south border was from the shore of the salt sea, from the bay that looketh southward. And it went out to the south side, to Malakrabim, Malakrabim, and passed along the Zen, along to Zen, and ascended up on the south side unto Kadesh Benaya, Kadesh Benaya, and passed along to Hezron, and went up to Adar. And fetched a compass to Karka. Karka. From thence it passed towards Asmon, and went out unto the river of Egypt. And the goings out of that coast were at the sea. This shall be your south coast. And the east border was the salt sea even unto the end of Jordan. And their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan. And the border went up to Beth Hogla. Beth Hogla and passed along by the north of Beth uh, Betharaba. Betharaba. And the border went up to the to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. And the border went up towards Debil from the valley of Achor, Achor, and so northward, looking towards Gilgal. That is before the going up to Ada, Adam, Adamum, which is on the south side of the river, and the border passed towards the waters of Eshemesh, and the goings out thereof were at Enraga, Enra, En, Enrogel, Enrogel. And the border went up by the valley of the sea of Hin Hinnom unto the south side of the Jebusite. The same is Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hin Hin Hinnom westward which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the found fountain of the water of Nef Nephetil Nephetil and went out to the cities of Mount Eph- Ephron. And the border was drawn to Valia, which is Kirjath Jerum. Kirjath Jerum. Kajatharum. And the border compassed from Valia westward unto Mount Seir and passed along unto the side of Mount. Jerum, which is Chesalon, 
on the north side and went down to Beth Shemesh, Beth Shemesh and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out unto the side of Ekron northward, and the border was drawn to Shekron and passed along to Mount Belial and went out unto Jeb- Jebneel. Jabneel, and the goings out of the border were at the sea, and the west border was to the great sea, and the coast thereof. This is the coast. This is the coast of the children of Judah, round about according to their families, and unto Caleb the son of Jephunam, Jephunai. He gave a part among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, even the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which which city is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence three sons of Anak, Shishia, and Ahiman, and Talmi, Tamal, Tamai, the children of Anak. And he went up thence to the inhabitants of Debir, Debir, and the name of Debir became Kerjothshephar. Kerjothshephar. And Caleb said, He that smiteth Kerjoth, Kerjothshephar, and taketh it, to him will I give. Asha, my daughter, to wife. And Othiel, O Othum, Othiel, 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 the son of Kiznar, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave Asha, his daughter, to wife. And it came to pass as she came unto him that she moved him to ask of her father a field. And she lighted off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wouldest thou? Who answered, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land. Give me also springs of water, and he gave her the upper springs and the neither springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the coast of Edom southward were Cabezal, Edir, and Jair and Kina and Demona and Ada Ada and Kedesh and Hazor and Ithman Ithnan Ithnan Zepho and Tilim and Beeroth and Hazor Hadata, and Kirioth, and Hezron, which is Hazor, a man, and Shimon, and Malthadah, and Hazor Gadai, Hazor Gadai, and Heshmon, and Bethpalet, and Hashu. Hashula and Beth Shur Beth and Bizatha Ja Bizathaja Bielo and Eum and Azam and Etalod and Shisil and Horma and Zeklin and Mad Mad Madman Mana 
Mamina, and Sansone, and Lebota, Lebota, and Shalom, Shalom, and Anan, and An, and Remo, Remo. All the cities are twenty and nine, with their villages, and in the valley, Estu, Esh, Tal, Eshio, and Zorio, and Eshna, and Zonea, and in Inganem, Tipfa, and Enum, Jarmuth, and Adulam, Sokak, and Es Ezka. And Shirium, and Abathium, and Gedumendabum, and Gedo Gerudamun, fourteen cities with their villages. Zizin, Zizin, and Hodidasha, and Megala, Meg Megdala, God, Meg Megdala, and D Dealum, Dealum, and Mizpah. And Jok Jokelt Jokelt Lashish and Bosketh and Eglon and Cabin and Laman and Kithlish and Gadathoth Gad Gadithroth Bethagon Neaman and Mecca Da sixteen cities with their villages Libna Ether and Ashar and Jif Jifata and Ash Ashna and Nizam and Kalo and Ashzib and Mirasha nine cities with their villages Ekron with two towns and her villages from Ekron even unto the sea all that lay near Ashdod with their villages. Ashdoth with her towns and her villages, Gaza with her town and her villages, unto the river of Egypt, and the great sea, and the border thereof, and in the mountain Shisham, Sh- Shemir, and Kijath, Jatir, and Soka, and Denai, and Kerjathsanai, Joshua, which is Debir, Debir, and Abne, A- Abnab, and Ishtamoth, and Anim, and Goshen, and Holin, and Jelon, eleven cities with their villages, Arab, and Duma, and Ishana, and Jema, G- Jinam, Beta Pua. Beth Bethapua and Afanka and Humta and Kerjotharab, which is Hebron, Zeor, nine cities with their villages, Maon, Carmel, Zipha, Judah, Jezreel, Jokda, Joka, Jodatan, Zena, Zenoa. Cain, Gib, Uria, and Tibna, ten cities with their villages. Hel, Hahu, Bel, Bethzer, and Gedor, and Miroth, Bethanoth, and El Tikon, six cities with their villages. Kajoth Biel, which is Kajoth Jearum, and Ro Robe Robe, two cities with their villages. In the wilderness, Betharamba, Middim, and Saka Seka Kai Seka Kai and Nibshin and the city of Salt and Ingada Ingada, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah, could not drive them out. But the Jebusites dwell with children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. 
And I just read. Joshua 15, 1-63. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we come to you to say thank you. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be able to read. Just to be able to read. Just to be able to see, Lord. Just to be able to hear, Lord. Hear your presence. Hear your word. Hear what the word is speaking to me. And thank you, Lord, for expanding the territory. Expanding the territory that you wish for us to have today, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray over your word. For your word is true, Lord. Your word is powerful, Lord. Your Lord, your words are so speaking to our spirits right now, Lord, that we say thank you. That help us to conquer our territory. Thank you, Lord, for enlarging the territory that you have promised us, Lord. We thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We do pray. In Jesus' name, we say, Lord, may you add a blessing to the reading of your word. In my name of Jesus, we say amen, amen, and amen. deep dive into this. I just had an epiphany and the epiphany I was reading the word and the word says enlargement of your territory. Enlargement of your territory. I've been reading about this thing called territory, about inheritance, about uh, all the things that God has blessed the children of Israel with. And in this new place, they gain a lot of territory. And sometimes... It is important for us to understand that you're going to get some possessions. You're going to inherit some things. God's going to get you. God's going to give you some things that you're going to inherit, but they have to come at a particular season. That's what my 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 conversation my 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 mind went to because God's been speaking to me about the same subject. In a private conversation. God's been speaking to me about inheritance, about a territory. And my thing is, I know, ooh, it, it's just not going to be, it's just not going to just not going to be just a little corner or, or a little this or a little that. God's going to bless you with a lot of, God's going to bless your entire family. Not just you. He's going to pass it down to generation, to generation, to generation, to generation. He's going to pass that down. And he's going to take all those curses off of your family and give you an inheritance of beauty, of happiness, of joy, of peace, of all these things that you have been thinking about, all the things that you had thoughts about, all the things you had visions about, all the things that you have, uh, uh, you have this, 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 this plan, and it's all, you know, you might hit some bumps and bruises in the road, but you will get your inheritance. You will get your inheritance. Caleb comes in and he says, all right, where's mine at? You have to be, you have to, in this season, in this season, you have to have this, give me what is mine, saith the Lord. God has things for you. He has this, these thoughts running through your head, and you be like, I don't know what to do with them. I don't know. I don't know, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. And it, look, sit down for a minute. 
sit down and have a conversation uh, with God about your life, about what you are doing, about these things that, that he gives you these ideals. God puts these visions in your head and he wants you to accomplish these things. But you have to sit down and make a plan out with God and ask him, how should I carry this out in order to get this inheritance? Caleb labored. Caleb worked. Caleb never stopped working for the Lord. When he was when he was with Moses, he turned around and did the say he when he was past that, he realized he was giving something that is so precious to the Lord that you gotta take care of with all your heart. And everybody can't go where you going. I don't know how many times that said in my in my head. I don't know how many times that's that that stuck in my head. Everybody can't go with you where God taking you. Everybody can't can't see, they can't hear, they can't speak what God is talking to, what God is speaking unto you. Because it's only for you to hear and to understand. Caleb says, hey, I done told all these many years, where man's at? And God has blessed them with it. He's assigned out the distribution of the land or who's supposed to get it. And everybody gets their portion. Everybody got their portion so far. The children of Israel, they got some. They got some land. <laughs> but how are you, will, are you willing to toil? Toil. Toil. Now that's a word, isn't it? Toil. <sighs> How long are you willing to work for it? For your freedom. From whatever demonic situation you are in or or, 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 or situation doesn't have to be demonic. It could be where you're in the wrong place with the wrong people doing the wrong things. How long are you going to sit there and be in that? It's time to get up from there. Time to get busy with the dreams God has given you. Don't sit on what God has given you. Don't sit on it. Be fruitful and multiply, as they say. Hey, I started when I started my bit when I started my business, I didn't have no money. I didn't have nothing to start. I just wrote the book. I just put, I wrote the book and whatever little monies I came across from doing those side hustles or selling dinners or whatever you got to do to get there, do it until it is complete. Sell dinners, sell somebody else's books, something. But don't just sit there and do nothing with that vision God has given you. Work on it. Take time to cultivate it. To mur- to mur- nurture it. And you'll get your inheritance. And sometimes, when you receive, when you are promised an inheritance, sometimes it's not... How can I say this? Sometimes we have to break them generational curses to get the inheritance. Mama might see your mama, your daddy, they fighting, they, you know, daddy be no mama, or, or drug, or, or your parents were drug addicts, alcoholics, whatever the case, and that affected your life, and you thought, that's what, oh, because I see that, that's what I'm going to be. No, I rebuke that in my name of Jesus, okay? Um, So, you got these ideas that God has given you, you got, you got choice. You can break that generational curse and get busy with the visions God had given you for what you want to be. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do something. As long as you got God, you can do it. All things are possible. All things are, are free. All things are necessary. Sometimes we might hit them bumps in the road, but hey, don't let the bumps and bruises and and fall downs and, and you know, and they like to say, fall down sometimes, get up eight. 
Sometimes we had to break our generational curses, and that's the state of that was that was that was what was for that was what I was doing. When I decided that. I didn't want to be the old me anymore. I broke a generational curse. I broke a curse that was a that that was upon that was upon me that I brought upon me because I didn't want to listen. I didn't want to. I thought I knew everything when I was young, and I found out life ain't that way, and I had to grow up real fast in the last eleven years. And keep it real with you. I was like a like a fool. I got like stupid. Like I had lost my mind. I didn't. I, I just was all over the place. Sometimes I get my mind together and get it together, and then sometimes I fall and stay there for a minute. But I'm telling you something: you get back up. Don't look back at that old life. Don't look back at all the mistakes. Yeah, they've done that, been there, done that. But God says you have new territory coming to you. God says you have new territory coming to you. The new territory could be a a new fresh start. A fresh start where you don't have to, you can start over with just you and Jesus, you and God alone. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? We don't need to take everybody with us on our way to a better place. We don't need to take them people with us. What, What are they gonna do? What's that? Look, I I ask everybody when you go into a new, when you start over new, right? And you got these friends. And these friends, okay. Because I've let let go a lot of friends since I've decided to start my new life after my mom died in 2015. And what I had to do was. And ask myself, what is your purpose in my life? What do you bring to the table in my life? What do you have? What I, I, It's not materialistic stuff, per se. I'm saying, what value? Are you teaching me something? Are, are we going anywhere? Are we going to another level? Are we going, you know, thinking outside a box? Are, are we are we going to prosper together? Are we going to become partners in business? Or what, what what is your next level in life? That's what I had to ask myself. Well, who these friends were, what contribution they have on how what contribution they have in my life, and what is that contribution? If it was a negative, I had to let you go. If you did, if you still did drugs, I had to let you go. If you drank, I had to let you go. If you out here running the street and acting foolish and all and fighting and guns and all, gotta go. Because that shows you an instability. You don't have no stability, no stability. And and you use every, every and then I had to think about it, you using everybody around you to to feed to, to meet your needs. To meet your needs, not your wants, but your needs. Like food or or pay my water bill or something. And and it's like, you know, you want to be a burden on everybody else. What was your purpose? Did you have a plan for yourself? 5, 10, 20. I had to ask myself that too. Well, I want to be in 5, 10, 20 years. I didn't want to be the same person. So that is what I mean when you're in larger territory. That also applies with that. Because you want to expand your horizons when you get new territory. You want to meet new people that's going up, not down. Not staying the same. Not doing nothing with their life. And then when you start going up, they start hating on you. Come on, who want that? Okay, you start showing signs of you. Uh, you Bye. Oh, why are you doing this? Da 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 da. da, da you don't, da, 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 you know, you don't do nothing for me no more. Hold up. That was the clue. It's all about them. When it's all about them, and they sit there and say you're not doing anything for me, and it's like, wait a minute, hold up. 
So you're not happy that I'm going to another level. You mad because I'm leaving you because I don't want to do for you anymore. I don't want to be in that category anymore. And I made a choice where I could walk away from you and be happy. <coughs> Enlarging your territory means letting go of things that hold you down, that hold you back, that hold you, uh, uh, that don't free your mind to explore. You still, the person still stuck in that one place. They, they I, I'm happy here. I'm good right here, right here. I ain't gonna do nothing. No, cause God didn't give us that. God gave us all. God gave us all that we see before us. And and nothing is impo- Nothing is impossible as long as you got God in your side. And that's the thing that we have to have is when we want this territory, God's pushing us, pushing us, pushing us, pushing us, pushing us, pushing us. God is pushing us, pushing us, pushing us. God is pushing us out of this comfort zone or this place that we are you're so used to. And that's what he did with the children. Of, he, he did that with the children of Israel. He moved them from Egypt. Now they're in their own land. Took them some time to get there. But he gave them what he promised them. He gave them. They might have had to go through trials and tribulations. And, oh, God. Somebody chasing out behind you, trying to kill you. You know, that could be a reference for Satan, of course. And he's trying to get your mind distracted from keeping you to get to this new territory, this new place God has for you, this new expansion. He got he got a whole new place for you to live, and you just have to walk in it. But you can't take the same people with you that you left out of Egypt with. You can't take you. See how this works? It's the same common, it's the same common denominator. If you don't want to change, I got to leave you behind. God says, I'm expanding your territory. And sometimes, that's how it going to be. Everybody can't go with you. Everybody, come on now. Everybody can't go with you. Everybody cannot go with you on this journey. I know that might hurt sometimes, but hey, it's a fact. Because God trying to do something different in your life. Enlarge your territory. Enlarge your business. Enlarge your uh, subscription. You know, whatever you're doing. Think about ways to expand it. And they'll come to you. They will come to you for real, okay? Um, I don't know, you know. I, I, I'm, I'm like this. God, you know, he gives you a lot. He gives us a lot to, to think about. Enlarging your territory. Do what you gotta do what you gotta do. But you and God by yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with being alone on this journey, y'all. As long as you pick the right people to be on your team. Because you got to pick that too. That comes along with the territory. You gotta learn how to pick the right people to take with you. If they not helping, if they not motivating you, if they not inspiring you, they not bringing ideas to the table, they not, you know, they don't have nothing to contribute and all they want to do is got their hand up, ain't no, ain't got time, ain't got time for that. Don't, you know, sometimes, and it is about discernment during this journey. It's about having discernment. But to get to this place that they had to get to, Children of Israel had a lot to go through to get here. And it called, it, it it had to call for someone to lead them into a place where they won't get distracted. Uh, uh, you know, not getting distracted, not uh, falling for the okie doke, not uh, believing everything, somebody come to kill you. Um, and, and they started leaning on the word of the Lord. They started depending on God and their leader Moses and Joshua, and they brought, and they got into this place. They've gotten to this place. They had to drop off a few people. Um, they had to 
Let some of the old ones go. Yeah, let some of that old stuff go, that old pain, that my mama did abandon me stuff, or I got molested as a kid, or, I mean, uh, you know, some things you can't get over, but it's called talk to somebody about it so you can get, so you can move past that. I didn't feel, I didn't feel love as a child, you know, and these, these are the things, and, and, and get rid of the excuses for not doing what God asked you to do too. Stop using excuses. Oh, I'm this. I know I got to do this. No, I got something else. No, uh -uh, uh-uh, uh-uh-uh. Do what God asks you to do. Put all the other stuff aside because it's just distractions. When it's time to to enlarge your territory. That's just a... Everything I look at, if it's not... if When it comes to me, I'm going to speak for me. When it comes to my getting to the to the next uh, uh, larger my territory, I have decided to tone out these distractions and these people that mean nothing, the people that that are distractions to me and their behaviors are distractions for me, and I have to put them aside. That's why I laugh. When people come up against me, I laugh because I say, I say, you know what? Last time the person did this, they got sick, they got something wrong with them. Or what? God says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And you got to understand that it takes that you have to have this discernment when you have a relationship with God. That you don't want to get distracted by. People that's not going nowhere, not doing nothing with their life, not even talking positive. They want to talk about other folks and gossip and all that. I ain't got time for that, man. Me and God got a journey. We got to go get this territory, and we is going to conquer it, okay? So I want y'all to have a blessed day. And I thank you so much for listening to Daily Devotional. We have just reviewed Joshua 15, 1 through 63, which is enlargement of the territories. All right. Hope y'all have a blessed day. Bye, babies. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Sharice Johnson Moore here for your announcements. Announcements. Okay. If you are a ministry, a church ministry, individual ministry, and you would like for me to make you a commercial for a podcast, I am available for voiceovers. Okay. Voiceovers for commercials for podcasts just putting that out there okay you can reach me through my email address i am sharice at sharice in johnsonmore.com for further details or you can you know you can reach out to me through my whatsapp 724-570-1153 and we can sit down and talk about that okay I also want to let you know that today I will be on a show, a a radio show, and we are going to be talking about healing, healing the mind, healing the soul from the pain that you may have uh, endured or you're still dealing with this pain. And it is very important for you to have during this time and it is it is the interview will be with Dr. Sarita Sands host of host Alpha Health Outreach that's the name of the program I'm going to be on Kingdom, Kingdom Purpose Radio, 
And I hope you come and listen. You can follow the program on, you can get the app or join on the website through kingdompurpose.com. And our topic will be talking about healing from hurt and abuse. And I will be a guest speaker for this uh, radio show. And we will start at 12 noon today, 12 noon today. I will be a guest speaker on Kingdom Purpose Radio. You can get the app or or join the website through KingdomPurposeRadio.com and listen in, okay? So I want y'all to come out and support. And I love you and I will talk to you tomorrow. All right, love you. Hello everyone, Sharice Johnson Moore here, your hope builder, lifting you out of your sorrow by guiding you to see the Christ within through scripture and practical applications. Yes, child. LBM TV has advertising spots open and we want you to join the family. You want to advertise your book trailer, your candle business. Your writing business, your ghost writing, your uh, construction business, uh, your 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 home renovation business. We are here for you. We want to give you the exposure that you need in this season. So, if you are interested in advertising on LBM TV, just come and see me, Sharice Johnson Moore. You can reach me at I am Sharice at ShariceNJohnsonMoore.com and let's sit down and expose your business to the world. Okay? Come on now. Advertise. 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 <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to LBM TV. I am Sharice Johnson Moore, owner and CEO of LBM TV. Here at LBM TV, our objective is to give you programming that will invigorate, motivate, and inspire you. Our programming will provide you with insight, in-depth knowledge, and solutions in your daily living. We can be seen on every smart TV, smartphone globally. We're located on C1 Media Smart TV app, Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Google TV. So get ready to enjoy a positive, uplifting program for your daily living here at LBM TV, where we care about you. Thank you.